Hey everyone, this is Layla coming to you from workwithtobyandlayla.com. I wanted to shoot a quick video for you guys today about making a video. So a lot of people, some people don't feel that confident in front of a camera. So doing a slideshow video where you're doing a voiceover can be an awesome alternative. Now I just put together uh, a video that I'm creating here with uh, all of our recommendations. So what you do is you go into PowerPoint, you create the slides that you want to use, and then it's very easy, you just go to Save As, and click Save As, and then I'm gonna, it's called Recommendation Slideshow. This is important. You save it as a JPEG file format. So that way they become pictures. They're no longer PowerPoint presentations. So you hit save every slide. Okay. All right, cool. So then what you do is you go, most people have um, this program built into Windows. So it's Windows Movie Maker. We open that, you can see that's my beautiful niece there, Riley. And this is what we do. We go into documents where we saved all of the slides. They're all here. And we are going to upload them and just drag them into this box here. Okay. So then we switch it to storyboard because that makes it easier when you're dealing with slides right away. And the one thing I wanted to put Norbert's first. You can put them in any order. You just drag six, seven. Now, if you were doing a capture page video, you would use different slides. Obviously, you'd be talking about. Um, generating leads, touching on the, the pains and the frustrations of network marketers and doing a lot of slides to, to, uh, to, to really spark that emotion within them. You can use images, whatever you want, however you want to create it. So then once you have this, you go back. This is, this is actually a really cool feature right here, transitions. So what we're going to do is I want to use a fade transition for this so we just drag it drag it into every little box so this is going to be the transition between slides and they have a lot of different options with this program so you can do like flipping we do a lot of the, the page flips there's a lot of different options so you can really customize your video however you want it to be Okay, and then the second part, so then we go back to timeline. And so what you're gonna wanna do is record your voice. So you're gonna record your voice over this and you're gonna have to, you're probably gonna have to change the length. You just drag, you just go right here, drag it, that makes the slide longer. And uh, however long they need to be. And then you record your voice over. Now for this particular, video I'm just gonna do a little bit of music um, because they're just gonna be slides going through uh, with our recommendations people are gonna be reading what people have said about Toby and I so I'm gonna do some music so I'll show you how to do that you want to import audio or music and um, we're gonna go I have some good sample music here this is one of our favorites. So you just pretty much just uh, just one second. You just drag it into the audio music. So you can also do this if you've recorded a voice file. You can do the exact same process. Drag it here, and then as so you'll hear the voices, and as maybe your slide's going to change, you'll know where you need to drag your slide to. So I'm going to just chop this down a little bit. So there's no dead air here and just make it a little smaller and you want to sometimes change the volume uh, 
do a fade in on the sound, a fade out, volume, you can change the volume so it's not deafening loud, this is something that we discovered. <laughs> and yeah, that that's about it. Um, then all you need to do is hit publish movie and it's going to publish the movie for you. I'm going to publish it. It takes a, takes a couple minutes and then we will come back to uh, showing you the finished product. Alright guys, so the movie has been published and uh, so you just click finish. You might, you might want to save this uh, this presentation here just so that you can go back in and edit it if you want to. Um, one thing I didn't show you guys that I really wanted to, I forgot to do, um, was doing titles and credits. So uh, you'll see a lot of times things pop up across the screen like a web URL or whatever you want. So let's just say, for example, I'm going to put, I want to put our website here. So you go to titles and credits and you go titles on a selected clip. So what we're going to do is www.themlmrockstars.com and then you can go they have changed the text, the font um, I like to use I like to use impact because it's bold and easy to read Sometimes, sometimes you just have to play around with it though because they don't always fit. Okay, so that's perfect. And then you want to change the title animation. So here you can see there is a, a ton of different things that you can, you can choose. So you can do like a fade, fade in, a fade out. Nothing happened there. Uh, oh, you have to go to the two line one because I did two lines. So we'll go to these ones down here. So let's say we fly in from the left. So it's going to show you that. Uh, this one's really interesting, the transparent overlapping titles. Oh, you have to have two lines for that one as well. <laughs> the zoom in. So as you can see, there's a ton. So obviously, you just, you just pick the one that you want. We'll stick with that one, that exploding. And then it's going to show up. It's probably not going to show up very well because I have a white background. But, yeah. <laughs> but you get the idea. Uh, this is how you insert titles and different there. So the finished product goes into my videos right here. And... Um, and then you can play it here and then all you need to do is upload that into YouTube and if you don't have a YouTube account yet you really need to get on top of creating a YouTube channel uh, where you're branding yourself with all of your training videos and all of your different uh, capture page videos so yeah that's that is basically it and you can get as creative as you want uh, PowerPoint is awesome to create the slides in and then just remember to change them to JPEGs and upload them into Windows Movie Maker. So from Toby and Layla, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, make sure to get in touch with us uh, through our blog. You can email us at mvp at debtfreewithplan B. Uh, for also obviously find us all over Facebook or LinkedIn, Twitter.